Gary, the excitement must be building now, particularly within yourself, going into your, your first full season in the Skybet Championship. All that work seems seems worth it now, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. I think everyone gets a little bit tired of, of pre-season games. and I, even, I watched Man United Everton last night and it's just not the same for, for some reason. It just doesn't get uh, the players up to full speed. Uh, and we are looking forward to Saturday and, and a kind of high pressure, high energy game uh, in the Sky Bet Championship for the first time and, and really looking forward to, to taking this group of players into that. You've had almost 18 months in the job as, as manager here at Atlantics. How have you seen that develop from, from day one to, to now coming back to the Championship? I'm, I'm happy to come in with this group of players. I think the, the first time I got it, it was uh, under difficult circumstances uh, with a group of players that, that wasn't my own. Uh, this time I'm going in with players that I trust, players that I believe in and I believe can, can bring success to this club. Of course, you'll have had opportunity to, to look at the sort of teams you're going to be facing, who they've brought in, what, what the styles that they play. What can you expect from the Championship this season? What are you anticipating? A very difficult league. I think it always is a very competitive league from top to bottom. There, there's not a great deal in it. And I think this year will be no different. There'll be you know a group of teams that, that believe you know they're pushing for the title with, with the finances that they're going to have. Then there's going to be a large group of teams below that that, that believe they can kind of push uh, for the top ends of the league. So from top to bottom, it will be competitive. Every game will, will be difficult. Uh, but like I said, I'm, I'm very confident with this group of players that, that we can be a, a really competitive team and, and a really hard team to play against in this league. And what sort of thing do you think we can anticipate on Saturday from Bristol City? Uh, a a well-organised team. I've seen them twice in pre-season. Uh, they, they played very well against Cheltenham, uh, against Portsmouth, They're not so well. But in pre-season you can never really tell what they've done before that, whether they've worked physically hard and that's why the performance uh, isn't so good. Uh, but they are organised, they have threats high up the pitch. Uh, the crowd will get behind them, we will have to play against a very you know, excited home crowd and, and the parts of the stadium I don't think is ready, but the stadium is, is new in bits and, and the crowd will be up for it, so we have to control that as well. Going into the game, of course, yesterday, some great news for, for the club and for the team. Max Power signing a contract extension. Just what, how much of an impact can that have for the player and for the team? Yeah, lots. He was, he was somebody that came in last year, a little bit unknown from Tranmere, a young player who we, we, we felt had a, a big future in the game and he went on to show that in League One. And we felt that was one of the main things we had to do this summer was, was get him tied up to a longer deal. Uh, because we see a, a massive future for him and, and we hope it's at this club. So great for him and, and great for his teammates as well because he's somebody that is, is kind of well-liked and respected within the dressing room. Uh, so it's a big lift for everyone. And of course, the other piece of news yesterday was that Lee Nichols has, has gone to MK Don, someone you've played with and worked with for, for a number of years now. Just how much of a, a move is that for the player? You, you obviously know him on a personal level and I want to see someone develop. Yeah, I think Lee's somebody I've known for, for a long time when he came into the club as a, a youth team player and uh, I gave him opportunities in the first team and, and I wanted him to, to get that chance here for a number of reasons that hasn't happened and I felt it was important that Lee goes on and, and starts his career and, and goes on to, to have a good career, I'm sure, because he has all the attributes to be a top goalkeeper. Uh, like I said, at times here it just never quite happened but now I think that he's away from here and, and has to go and stand on his own two feet at a different club I'm sure he'll go on to, to bigger and better things. Are you expecting much more to happen bef before the end of the transfer window? Is it, is it difficult to judge it at this moment in time having not played a, a competitive game? Yet? No, I think we still need uh, to, to add players to, to the group. I think that the squad isn't as strong as I would like from, from top to bottom. We, we have you know a, a lot of quality players, but the depth of the squad isn't uh, as good as I'd like it to be. So we're still looking to improve, and, and I'm sure we will do that from now to the end of the window. You mentioned that depth of the squad. Is that in part down to the amount of injuries that have, have occurred, unfortunately, in, in pre-season? Yeah, we've had a few injuries, uh, what you would expect. Uh, some of them have been 
difficult to take with, with Kyle Newell. Obviously, his first day just fell awkwardly and he's, he's got a long-term injury. Andy Kellett was similar. You know, it's injuries that are out of our control are, are hard to take. We've not had many injuries that are within our control in terms of muscle injuries. Uh, so we've been a little bit unfortunate, but even without that, I, I still think we need to, to strengthen in certain areas.